Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. It is 549 on your Friday. Thanks for getting up early with us here on Good Morning Idaho. And here are our current temperatures across the country. It is a tale of two seasons if we've ever seen one. Very winter like conditions up into the plains. Even Denver right now at 37. It's 27 in Bismarck. 39 degrees in Minneapolis. You go a few hundred miles south. Look at Omaha, Nebraska sitting at 61 degrees right now. Now high temperatures today. This is such an interesting story. Now you can see where the jet stream is, right? The jet stream is the upper level winds, kind of that river of air that divides air masses, right? Cold air mass, warm air mass, really easy to see it. Look at Denver today. They will see a high of 43. Yesterday, 24 hours before this, they tied a record high of 79 degrees. That'll make your head spin. And would you believe it? We have a uh, head spinning change in temperatures like that in our extended forecast. Not quite that extreme, but pretty much. And look at Oklahoma City. They'll hit 86 degrees this afternoon. Look at tomorrow, 52 their expected high tomorrow as this cold air continues to just kind of move south. The jet stream will dip a little bit as well. So. It is setting up to be a very messy day, messy couple of days across much of the country. In fact, the storm that brought snow to us yesterday morning is now driving snow across Montana and setting up blizzard conditions, possibly across the Dakotas and into Minnesota. And all of the colors you see here are anything from blizzard warnings, fire weather warnings, winter weather advisories. It is just going to be kind of a crazy early spring forecast for people in those areas. Today we're talking about 160 million people with above average temperatures or 190 million people by tomorrow it drops to 60 million people. So we're just looking at some extreme changes in temperature. Now for us today, our temperatures won't actually change all that much from yesterday. We saw a couple of showers moving through, but look at the skies that are clearing. We'll have a cold morning today and then we'll have a nice mild afternoon. We did hit the low to mid 50s yesterday across the Treasure Valley. That's where we'll be again today, but we won't have those blustery winds. Now here's what's taking shape for the next few days. Through the next couple of days, through Saturday and Sunday, mostly dry conditions, nice and mild as well Sunday. That's that warm sector right here. Before this moves in, a very big pool of cool air. It'll drive rain showers in on Monday and cause that massive drop in temperatures that I alluded to a couple of minutes ago. And then we just stay a little cool all the way through next week. It takes really until Thursday and into Friday before we start seeing temperatures rebound back to normal. So enjoy our nice mild weekend. It's not going to be real sunny tomorrow, but it'll feel pretty nice. And we do have sunshine in the forecast today. Also, that northwesterly wind will still be sticking around. Not as gusty, though. 61 for Ontario today. 56 the high for Boise. We'll see 55 in Mountain Home. We should be at about 61, 62 degrees for Boise for our average daytime high. That's where we'll get tomorrow with mostly cloudy skies and a chance of a morning shower up near 70 by Sunday. And then the bottom drops out a high of 47 with rain on Monday.